About a year ago, you might remember I had an experiment where I threw condoms in my compost tumbler to see what would happen. And I threw it in holes, so I obviously did that knowing it would take longer for anything to happen with it. And eventually, and I mean eventually, it broke down. I decided back in, wow, when was that, April? Maybe even the end of March to put condoms in my worm bin with varying degrees of damage. There was a whole one in there, and then there was one that I kind of cut in half, and then one I chopped up into little pieces. Well, it's now pretty much the very end of July, so it's been a couple months, and I've really neglected my worm bin, actually. So I went away for a little while, and I came back, and there was a lot of bugs in there and stuff. I mean, that generally happens in the summer, and I don't even have air conditioning because I'm a moron, so it's more likely that there's flies going around my house. But let's look into the worm bin and see if there's been any progress over the last, how many is that, going on five months now, four months, three months, a bunch of months? Long enough. And I think by what we find, we'll be able to determine whether or not we should really be putting condoms in the worm bin. My guess is probably not, but let's just take a look. I even ended up putting food on top of the condoms to hopefully try and trick the worms into maybe eating them. So let's just see what happens. They probably hate me. They do now, as you're about to see what the inside looks like. It looks terrible in there. You ready? All right. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, check it out. There's worms. I thought they were pretty much all dead. They certainly don't like that I have the lid open right now. It's really hot out. And look at all this crap around the sides here. You can see that I lazily threw in an onion on purpose. There's not not much going on there. Ooh, look at all that sludge underneath. Any volunteers for finding the condoms in here? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they weren't anywhere near where I originally put them. Oh man, that is beginner's luck. Check it out. That is totally a condom. There you go, folks. I am a jerk. That's my advice to you, is probably don't put condoms in the worm bin. You know what's cool though, is that I definitely did not put the condom in there like this. This was the whole one, and it was all rolled up and unused, and if you look at it now, it somehow is uh, kind of stretched out. What were the worms doing? Anyway, so it looks like this was uh, an interesting experiment. Or maybe not, I don't know. Did you think worms are going to eat the condoms? Most of you out there would probably say no, but I figured it was worth a try. I still figure that I'm kind of a rookie with this stuff, so I might as well just keep trying random things out and see what happens. I don't even know what half of this stuff is. Well, I wanted to apologize to him, so at least I um, brought some fresh bedding and stuff. So I'm going to start putting that in. But you know that it's about time to... Um, use Bentley's method and put the garbage bag with holes over the top of this and put the fresh food on top and basically get the worms the heck out of here, whatever's left of them. There's a lot of worm compost in here underneath all this disgusting stuff. Well, that was kind of a bummer experiment, wasn't it? I'm going to throw in some crushed eggshells for them too, a little gift that I received. Maybe this will cheer them up. Maybe not. I guess the only other nice thing that happened out of all this would be that I got this. Yeah, it's about nine liters worth of uh, compost leachate. Note I say leachate. That is because uh, I just freshly dumped out the bottom tray, this thing. Notice the blue one here. I emptied that one all out. And so when I dumped all that out, I ended up getting all of this leachate right here. And so it filled up about half of that, and then I filled up the rest with water. And now I'm going to let it sit for a while, and then I'm going to figure out what the hell to do with it. Um, so in the meantime, I guess that's about it. There you go. Uh, it looks like I didn't really do a good job here, or else worms just told me they don't like eating latex condoms. In conclusion, I think it's safe to say that worms are not really going to break down latex anytime soon. I know it's not the end of the experiment, it's not like I'm going to take all the remnants of condoms out of my worm bin and call it quits. I'm going to leave them in there. So maybe five years from now I'll have a video saying I can't find them anymore. But as for right now, not really. I think that's just because there's not enough heat being generated in a worm bin, obviously. 
And this also goes for the compost tumbler. Any backyard effort I don't think is going to generate enough heat for a consistently long enough period of time to degrade that type of material. So I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this and call up some commercial composters that have, you know, 100 foot long windrows with thousands and thousands of pounds of material and computer controlled temperatures and the whole works. And I think it'll be interesting to see what their response is to, hey, can you compost condoms? Or latex gloves, maybe? We'll see. They'll probably say yes, but who knows? So that'll be an interesting one. So stay tuned. That'll be an upcoming report on crazyaboutcompost.com. And I guess that's about it. Uh, this was fun. Thanks.